All right, you know, it's your boy No One Really, and we back with another one. Today we're going to be taking a look at Vacuum Pro by Air Instruments. Um, they say it's a classic monophonic synthesizer that features vacuum tube synthesis. Um, it also basically lets you take a deep dive into subtractive synthesis. Uh, it features like two oscillators that you could drive through different types of filters, high pass and low pass. They even let you do uh, like some type of uh, vintage modeling where you can shift the pitch around a little bit to give it like that vintage feel. Um, so today we're going to take a look at how I use it in one of my tracks that I just made called Outside the Vacuum. I try to do something different, a little experimental. Um, for me, at least from what I normally produce, uh, given the sounds that was before me, I just kind of treated it like a painter. I said, here go my paints and let's do it. Um, so we're gonna get into this track, take a look at a couple of the, the pads that I use, the bass, the leads, a couple, just a couple of sounds. Won't keep you too long. So let's get into it, see if there's something that you might want to use in your own production. All right, let's do it. So let's talk about the pads that I use. Um, one of the first presets that I stumbled across and working out the chord progression I was going to use uh, for this particular project was something called Blown Steel. Uh, Blown Steel kind of set the basic mood uh, for the progression. You know, I guess it's kind of like a, a type of synthesized horn, at least that's how it sounds to me. Um, I started off with that and then I kind of went and I was hearing something else, you know, I wanted a little more emotion behind what, what was happening. And, you know, I really love, uh, you know, little movements here and there. And so what I decided to do was I layered on top another little sound, you know, and I was starting to feel that, it started to feel real good to me, but it was, it needed just another little element. And I dropped in this next piece. And when I dropped that in, uh, essentially I used gross beat to, you know, bring a little more emotion or feeling to the pads. Uh, again, all the sounds are from Vacuum Pro, but I just wanted to add a little more texture. Um, but this is what, essentially what I came up with for the pads and I really you know dug what it did and it definitely gave it that atmosphere that I was looking for it's a little light pro processing outside the plug-in but you know it's pretty standard stuff so let's get into the next sound all right so the next sound I was looking for something to kind of keep the movement going um, you know, some of the transition throughout the track, um, you know, just place sparsely in certain areas selectively, something with a little feel. And so I stumbled across a preset called the Tomish. Um, you know, it, it definitely kind of had like this bubbly type of sound. Um, the track isn't really, I wouldn't say it's happy. I wouldn't say it sounds like sad. You know, I think it sounds kind of, uh, you know, like it's going somewhere. Uh, like, you know, uplifted, but not like happy uplifted, like you about to do something <laughs> epic, I hope. Uh, but anyway, uh, so this is the sound that I went with, uh, you know, and I, I think that when you hear it in context with all the other instruments that I have going, you know, it, it definitely makes sense. And I think it fits well in the mix and in the track. And, you know, these sounds really stand out. Um, they definitely have a lot of character. And so, uh, you know, with that being said, let's move into the next sound I chose. That one, it's an interesting choice. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's get into the bass. Um, it was time to look for something to add a little meat to the track, a little bottom in. So, you know, I didn't want to drift too far off into like some uncharted territory with my bass. So I was glad to find the analog bass preset of you know, it was uh, it was pretty straightforward. Um, I didn't do much tweaking here. Uh, essentially, uh, you know, I probably pushed the drive up all the way, um, added a little dirt. Like, you know, that's one of the features of this uh, VST. Uh, gives you that 
a classic feel. So, you know, I just wanted to add a little little grit to it, try to give it something um, just to boost it a little bit and, um, you know, make it feel right. Um, you know, I hope that it's coming across well. Um, so, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, the bass line, I try to follow the progression and everything like that. Um, I just want to give you a quick look and, uh, you know, that's it. Let's uh, move into the next sound. All right, so the next sound, this, uh, this is a preset called Metal Ring. Now, I don't know, out of context, it sounds a little strange, but, you know, when I was playing around, I had everything going. It just sounded like all oh, those some weird type of sound I just wanted to throw in there and uh you know I was having fun and just playing it and this is what I came up with and you know I think like like I said in full context I think it sounds good and it kind of adds like a sort of uh melodic playfulness uh to the overall feel of the track and I definitely think that it adds a very specific character that that hopefully uh you know comes across well and, and you know plays well with the rest of the instruments that I chose so you know um, this was just a quick look uh, at a few of the sounds that I chose and so let's get into uh, how I was uh, I thought using this uh, only this plugin you know this is a very uh, different move for me uh, usually I like you know using something from here and over there and you know just pulling but actually just sticking to one plugin is a very interesting challenge so let's get into this uh, closing thoughts all right all right this has been a fun one um you know like i said it was a bit of an experiment a little step outside of my comfort zone but vacuum pro was a fun tool to use um you know definitely a lot of different sounds sounds with a whole lot of character you know a lot of different you know just feel you know it had a totally different feel um than a couple of the other instruments i've shown so far um but you know i think it definitely has its place uh, the question is do you think that it has its place in your productions well you know i hope the track that i played definitely gave you a sense and a, a vibe of whether or not it does um you know, it's me and boy, no one really. I'm trying to show you some of the tools and give you a look at some of the sounds that you can use in your own production potential to take it to that next level that you might be looking to reach. I always remember to produce responsibly and let's craft greatness.